What's up YouTube? Jeff back again today another very exciting Samsung video for you guys and today we're going to be talking about the brand new application from Beeper. They completely reinvented their Android app. You guys may know them. They allow you to get iMessage on your Samsung Galaxy or Android phone. I actually made a video on Beeper almost a year ago when I started using it. It's one of my favorite apps and even though the iMessage situation has gotten a little more complicated, I'll talk about that in just a second. Um, you can still get iMessage, you just have to jump through a few ho hoops, but the actual integration of all the other messaging apps into Beeper is what's truly special, and I'm going to talk about their new app today. Before we get started, I do want to thank my son Jonathan for giving us some dinos to hang out in the video. We got the Spider-Man T-Rex, who's actually way too big for me to fit the whole thing in the frame, but he wanted me to show you guys that one. And then we've also got the baby Brachiosaurus over here. Really appreciate him. Uh, also, if you guys haven't yet, make sure you check out our alpha link, which is going to be in the description, pen comment, sign up for our newsletter. We do mystery boxes for those of you who are new to the channel. If you buy a Samsung phone with our affiliate link at launch, you get a free case, cleaning kit, desktop phone stand, all that good stuff. If that sounds good to you, we cover all the shipping costs, everything like that for people in the US. Check out the link in the description in the pen comment. So just yesterday, I'm recording this on March 15th. Beeper released their brand new Android app as an open beta test. And I've been a Beeper user now, like I said, for almost a year. So I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys uh, some of the things that have changed, let you look at the new interface and give you some thoughts. I've been using it now for a little over 24 hours. So they've been working on this for a long time. Like I said, you guys may know they were in the news because they allowed you to get iMessage on your Android phone or your Galaxy phone. And then Apple basically fought them tooth and nail to remove the ability to do that easily. You can still do it, but you have to jump through a few hoops, like I said, and I'll talk about that in a second. Here's some of the new improvements of the application. I'll show you guys in the Play Store and also show you how it looks on my device here in a second, give you some thoughts. New features, it's much faster than the old app. That's absolutely true, I can tell you that from using it. All chats are cached locally on device, which is awesome. Full message search, so you're not just restricted to um, particular areas that you've actually used or interacted with on Beeper. Uh, beautiful new design, minimal and pro inbox options, less on-screen info versus more. Uh, new theme, OLED black and material U. Tablet and foldable dual pane view, so very useful for those of you who have like a Galaxy Fold or have a Tab S9 Ultra like I do. Android OS chat bubbling, home screen widget, and lots more. Set up your modify your chat networks in the app, no desktop required. That was something that was required before you had to use the Beeper app on the desktop to set up your chat networks. Experimental preview, on-device signal bridge, now fully end-to-end -end encrypted. That security feature is a big deal, I know, for a lot of people. So this is built on an entire new uh, architecture. They basically built this just like they did their recent app called Beeper Mini, which was built on an on-device signal bridge. Um, Beeper Mini still exists, by the way, and I'll try to clarify the differences because they now have three Android apps, just to kind of give you guys an idea particularly if you're still using it for iMessage as to whether or not you should switch to this or not. The rest of the app is written in Kotlin, Jetpack, Compose. Those of you who are big Android fans know a lot about what those are. Um, there's a lot of things that they're adding, and I will tell you, there, there are some known issues with this. This is a beta. So if you want to test it out, if you're already a Beeper user, be aware there's some things missing. I'm going to talk about some of the issues I've experienced and some of the things I don't like. But overall, I think they've done a great job, and there's a lot of things I do like about this beta. So the first thing, the initial sync with all of your chats does take a while. Certainly did for me, probably longer than eight minutes, which is what they said. Google Messages, this is one of the big pain points that people are upset about. Beeper has decided to move to Google Messages for RCS entirely, which means you cannot use the Samsung Messages app built into your Galaxy phone as your default messaging app if you want to use Beeper you have to set Google Messages as the default. You'll see lots of people complaining about in the comments of their blog post. Uh, tapping on messages and search results does not open the chat. Scrolling up or down can trigger side swipe. Interacting with full screen image viewers is a little funky. I'll show you guys that in a second. Links and notifications are not tappable. Here's their roadmap, UI tweaks, cleanups, deleting chats, that's a big one. You cannot currently delete chats or even mark them as low priority, which was basically the old way of deleting things in Beeper. That's obviously a huge annoying thing. On devices, iMessage bridge like Beeper Mini is not enabled. You can continue to use Beeper Mini alongside this app or one of the old iMessage solutions in Beeper Cloud, as I said before. WhatsApp and Google Messages are in-to-end encrypt bridges. 
Context menu for pinned chat. Tap other people's name, avatar, and group chats to send a DM. Network disconnection alerts. And a huge one that's missing here. This is in the future roadmap. Android Auto does not work currently. So I use Android a lot. You're on your idle a lot. You're not going to get notifications. That's super annoying. Gallery sending and receiving. So that's another one. A little bit harder to send your photos or share them directly with this new Beeper app. Archiving and marking as low priority. Viewing a list of who had reacted to a message. Scheduled send. Mention and a lot more. Uh, you do need a Beeper account to use it at this point. If we go into the Google Play Store, I'll show you really quick. This is the new version. You can see I installed it yesterday. They did push out an update today that fixes the Google Messages issue, so it no longer takes two or three tries to pair it. Uh, I had already paired mine successfully yesterday, so I can't really comment on what that app update does, but if it's actually useful. Um, you can see, this is, like I said, an early access version. Shows you all the stuff I just talked about. 5,000 downloads, a lot of people are already using it. And you can see they are planning to eventually charge for Beeper, which we knew that was coming. I will be happy to pay for it because I love the service. You can also see all the different stuff. They integrate Android SMS, WhatsApp, Telegram, Signal, Facebook Message, Instagram DM, Twitter DM, Slack, Discord, LinkedIn, Google Chat, IRC, and Matrix Chat. So you notice the one thing that they no longer listen, you know, list there or touting this as fully supported is they no longer list iMessage. So that is, you know, because they have all these multiple apps. And I kind of want to talk about that. But let me first show you guys the new Beeper app. So here you can see the uh, brand new interface for the new Beeper app. This is what it looks like. Now, there's one thing I really don't love about this, and that is you see you've got no way to sort the different platforms. You used to be able to sort them into different folders. Here, they're all in one inbox. You've got these little icons on the bottom that show you who they're from, like text messages or from, from Twitter or X. Um, you got the new chat button down here. You can start a new chat, um, but they're not sorted in any way right now. Uh, if you long press on something, this is the kind of wonky look uh, interface. And again, you can't delete or mark as low priority, which is kind of annoying. If we go up into the settings, here's where the network connections are. This interface actually looks quite a bit better. You can see I still need to add my Instagram on here, but right now I'm using Google Chat, Facebook Messenger, my text message bridge, and uh, Twitter and X. I need to add Instagram and my Slack because I use those as well. You see my iMessage is disconnected, uh, and that is because, again, iMessage bridge does not work right now in this. You need to use Beeper Mini in conjunction with it, uh, and eventually that's going to be integrated in here. But you also need either a Mac or you need a jailbroken iPhone to use it it's a little comp more complicated than it was before because Apple broke the easy method that Beeper had come up with to go ahead and get iMessage on your Android phone. Now, if you guys like me to make a tutorial on doing that the hard way, if you have a really old jailbroken iPhone or a Mac, I'll try to do that because I'm definitely going to add that to this version once it actually does support uh, that interface. I will add it to the new Beeper app so I can have iMessage. I don't really use it that much, but you can certainly still add it. Uh, up here, you've also got your preferences. You can see the minimal, you can show network icons. They do have, you know, beeper light, beeper dark, dynamic, auto download, on device signal bridge. So you can actually here do on device. This is an experimental feature. Sticker maker, a report a problem, of course, as you can see, because that is, this is a beta. So of course they want you to report some bugs, but I mean, otherwise it's it's pretty minimal right now, but I like the way it works. The notifications come in fast. The app is 100% faster than it was before. The lack of Android Auto and being forced to use Google Messages, though, is definitely something that I'm not a huge fan of because I like the Samsung messaging app. Um, and I know some other people don't want to necessarily use Google services because they have some privacy concerns. So that's probably going to bother a decent number of people as well. So let me try to clarify here the different... If you search Beeper, because I know this is going to confuse a lot of people, the first time I made a Beeper uh, video there was only one Beeper app available. So I showed you the new Beeper app. This is the old Beeper app, uh, which is called Beeper Cloud now. This one also still requires an invite and you can't use the new one unless you are already a Beeper user. Uh, if you have this version installed, you, you may want to keep it installed when you install the new version if you wanna try the beta, because it'll automatically import all your chats. It'll be a lot faster. But also if you use Android Auto, you could keep this one installed for notifications since the new one doesn't support that yet. Um, this is the fun of being a beta tester, but you also get to try new features. Down here, you've got Beeper Universal Chat. 
The last app is Beeper Mini. So Beeper Mini isn't actually in the Play Store. You can get this one. This is specifically for getting iMessage on Android. I think that's why they don't yet mention that in the new version, even though technically with some of those workarounds, like I said, it is supported. Um, so you can definitely do it. And like I said, if you guys want me to make a video on that using an old jailbroken iPhone, I can show you guys how to do it. It, it is very reliable, it does work um, from what I've heard from other people, but it's obviously not as slick as the original solution because of the issues they had with Apple. Anyway, I absolutely love the new Beeper app. I'll drop a link below. If you guys want a Beeper invite, because you need one, you can drop me a message. I can only send five per day. I try to send them in the comments. I did this last time I made a Beeper video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon again. Check out our alpha link. Again, I'll show you if you just go to alphalink.com, Jeff Springer. I'll drop the link in the pinned comment description. Sign up for the newsletter, Mystery Box Fun, every time there's a Samsung launch. Appreciate you guys checking out this video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.